The Indian healthcare industry has been growing at an unprecedented rate since the last few decades. With it, the demand for medical devices has also grown exponentially. Although this improved access to quality healthcare services, however, the dependence on the medical devices import have also risen with time, making it affordable only to a minor section of the domestic population. The dynamics of current demand and supply of medical devices and the government of India's strong resolve to make healthcare affordable to the general masses presents a unique opportunity for medical devices sector to design and manufacture medical devices in the country. The Make in India initiative of the government has further given a thrust to the entire sector by creating an ecosystem to revolutionize the medical devices sector of the country. At present, the current market size of the medical devices industry in India is estimated to be $11 billion, which is set to rise to $65 billion industry by 2025. This is both a massive opportunity and a colossal need for the country to step up its health sector by creating medical devices in the country and significantly reduce the percentage of import which at present is around 80%. Located in Thiruvananthpuram in the coastal state of Kerala, the Sri Chitra Tirunal Institute for Medical Sciences and Technology is an institute of national importance under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. The story of Sri Chitra began in 1973 when the royal family of Travancore donated a multi-storied building for the people and the government of Kerala for the purpose of setting up a technologically advanced medical facility in the state. Established in 1976 with the mission to promote research and development in biomedical engineering and technology and deliver high quality patient care in selected specialties and sub-specialties along with developing postgraduate training programs in advanced medical specialties, biomedical engineering and technology. The institute is one of the most prominent research centers in the area of medical sciences and technology. Since its inception, the institute has been working efficiently to create critical medical devices in the country. Ever since it came under science and technology, the improvement in the patient care area and also in the biomedical technology was, it became much easy for us to find funds and go ahead with whatever was there in your mind to improve the situation of the institute. From 1981 onwards, initially we had the hospital wing and the biomedical technology wing. Two decades later, another division was added to it, that is the public health division called the Achadu Menon Center for Public Health. So now we have got three wings and all of them are amalgamated together under a single leadership. Today, almost 16 million blood bags are being manufactured, which was developed by Sri Chitra, which contributes to 25% of the entire blood bags in the entire world. Since then, Sri Chitra has successfully developed heart valve, blood oxygenators, hydrocephalus shunt, and a significant number of dental and orthopedic applications. In the last five years, Sri Chitra have transferred about 20 technologies in the medical devices sector. The institute has been recognized as a technical research center for biomedical devices as a nodal center in India for the research and development of biomedical devices by the government of India. The institute has three wings. 
the biomedical technology wing where research and development work on implantable medical devices as well as life support and life saving medical devices is carried on the hospital wing which serves as a tertiary referral center for cardiovascular thoracic and neurologic diseases and the achutha menon center for health science studies which is recognized as center of excellence for public health it focuses on research in the areas of non communicable diseases gender and health health policy and management it also conducts various courses in public health the biomedical technology wing takes up the unmet clinical need of the country here a design is developed which then goes through various analytical processes where safety and effectiveness of the device is tested it is then converted into a prototype which is extensively tested through various laboratories once the tests are done on the prototype then different reliability and durability studies are done on it it is then taken for the final evaluation through different tests post which it is converted into medical devices which are commercialized the overall process takes years of detailed research and experimentation ranging from 5 to 10 years of time over the years shri chitra has come up successfully with many critical devices which is contributing immensely towards the healthcare sector of our country some of the major devices which have been developed at the institute are mitral valve for the heart which is placed between the left atrium and the left ventricle of the heart for unidirectional flow of the blood inside the heart atrial valve which is placed between the left atrium and the right atrium to plug the hole in a heart aortic stent draft which is used for excessive swelling of the wall of an artery flow diverter stent which is used in case of swelling of blood vessels inside the brain hydrocephalus shunt used in the brain to drain out excessive fluid of the brain that gets accumulated inside the brain due to various conditions coronary stent to treat any block inside the blood vessels of the heart vascular graft used to replace diseased arteries in the human body mitral annuloplasty ring to treat any collapse that happens in the function of the mitral valve at present at the sri chitra tirunal institute for medical sciences and technology various researches are going on in different areas at the biotechnology wing research on life saving and life support cardiac medical device is on for critical patients with a severe heart disease where surgery of the heart is not possible the biotechnology wing has developed elvad left ventricular assistive device which works as an artificial replacement of the left ventricle of the heart generally the major function of the heart is carried on by the left portion of the heart in the flow visualization lab an artificial left heart simulator is created to check the overall functioning of the heart this simulator can replicate the operating condition of the human heart this simulator is used to test various medical devices like heart valves ventricular assist devices etc The performance of the left ventricular assistive device developed at the institute is being evaluated in terms of its functioning and overall efficiency. The data of the performance is collected on the monitor screen. One of the core research program which has been started in the institute just a couple of years ago is the 3D bioprinting facility to create three-dimensional functional tissues. 
Here, fabrication of a living construct is done through computer programming. This technology will help them to minimize organ transplantation in the future. Since its inception, Sri Chitra Tirunal Institute for Medical Sciences and Technology has revolutionized the medical devices sector of the country. Today, different medical devices created by the Institute for several organs of the human body are saving millions of lives across the nation. It has also helped to minimize the cost of the devices, making it affordable to the general masses, which is a giant step towards fulfilling the aspiration of its billion-plus population and building the dream of a new India, a self-reliant India.